To replace the PC350 mechanical footrest assembly, the first thing we need to do is use the recline lever to fully recline the chair. Next, we need to detach the body pad from the headrest pad and remove it. Then we can unplug the chair. Okay, next we'll tip the chair onto its right hand side. And then detach the flaps that secure the body canvas to the footrest frame. There's five of those flaps. Two of them are inside the canvas. Once those five flaps are detached, we can pull the canvas back until the screws that secure the footrest frame are exposed. Next, we need to remove the canvas cover that surrounds the footrest rod bracket. To do this, we'll need to use a wire cutter to cut the zip tie that secures the cover. And then just detach all the hook and loop fasteners until the cover is free and remove it from the chair. And then we'll remove that zip tie from the cover. We'll be replacing it later. Okay, next we'll use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to remove the screw that secures the footrest rod to the bracket. Next, we need to remove the pin from the bottom of the hinge pin that secures the actuator to the footrest frame. You can just pull that out with your fingers and then push that pin up and out of the bracket. Okay, then we'll use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw on each side that secures the footrest frame to the rest of the chair frame. and then we can remove the footrest frame from the chair. To install the new footrest frame, then we can slide it into the chair frame and then align the actuator mounting point with the bracket on the footrest frame. Next, we can replace the two screws that secure the footrest frame to the chair frame.
And then we need to secure the actuator to the footrest frame by reinstalling that hinge pin down from the top. You might need to jostle the actuator around a little bit to get everything in alignment so that hinge pin can slide through there. Once it's all the way through and the head of it is flush with the bracket, you can reinstall that clip through the small hole in the bottom of the hinge pin to secure it. Okay, now we're ready to reassemble the footrest rod by replacing the screw. And to replace the cover, position it so the small flaps are toward the front, and then wrap it around the footrest rod bracket. Remember those two larger flaps are going to be secured together with a new zip tie. So you can thread that zip tie through the slot in both flaps. Then pull the zip tie as tight as it'll go and cut the excess zip tie. Once that part's done, it's easy to see how the remaining flaps secure together wrapped around the footrest rod bracket. Okay, now we're ready to start securing the canvas to the footrest frame by sliding it down along the footrest frame as far as it'll go there. And then we need to wrap those two inside flaps containing hook and loop fasteners around the top of the footrest frame. And it's important when securing all of these flaps to pull them as tight as you can. And on the inside flaps, make sure that you don't catch that flexible support strap. That needs to remain free and clear. Okay, then we're ready to secure the three outer flaps. Again, pulling that canvas as tight as you can. And making sure to press firmly on the hook and loop fasteners so that they're secure. All right, now we're ready to return the chair to the upright position. And then we can reinstall the body pad. It's important when installing the body pad to make sure the ends of the footrest frame are tucked into the pocket on the bottom of the body pad. Stretch that pad up toward the seat. Then we can plug in the chair and raise it to the upright position. That'll make it easier to attach the upper part of the body pad to the headrest pad. The body pad has a flap on the top of it containing hook and loop fasteners that needs to be tucked smoothly up into the headrest pad. And then press along that seam to secure it. And we're done.